Hello and uh, welcome uh, back uh, the head. So we have uh, classics. Uh, a few weeks ago, I had uh, a decade resistor from uh, General Radio from the US. And uh, we clean it up and it really, really looks amazing. Uh, but this time I found one from the Netherlands. And it's from the Blaker company. Look at that. It looks still beautiful and the funny thing is from the Blaker company I found some documentation also not necessarily about this decade resistor but the company itself and it seems that it was founded by a Dr. C.E. Blaker and there was a woman it was Caroline Blaker and uh, also with a colleague I think they got the Nobel Prize for opticals and uh, other test equipment so that is really cool. Uh, I wonder where it comes from, uh, what year, but I have seen a few pictures and I think it's around late 50s and maybe the 60s. So I need to find out a lot more. Uh, there are versions that are super, super precise. You're really talking about uh, a pro mile of a percent. So that is really, really low. And uh, yeah, they say here, if you convert it to to the current euros and adjust it for inflation these uh, boxes have cost uh, you have them with one up to six uh, but they would cost now around between six, 650 euros up to more than 3000 so these things have <laughs> been very expensive um, I know this one is, uh, is, is broken, one of the resistors is broken so maybe I try to uh, get those resistor wires but uh, let's have a look inside what it looks like because that uh, general radio one, this one from the US, it looked beautiful, it was a piece of art And uh, while well, seeing the documentation, I will also put it in the in the links. This probably looks just just the same or even better because of uh, yeah, they are even talking about of the tolerance of 0 0.005 of a percent, which is super low. So let's have a look what is left of uh, that precision. Yeah, I mean, if we have a closer look. It really looks amazing. Huge, huge switches. The box looks very, very nice. This is uh, the one ohms. So the lowest is the one ohm from this one. Here it says 10 times 100 times 1000. And the box does look very nice still. This is just a universal plate because mine starts at one ohm, not at point one ohm. And you, here you can see, yeah, Dr. C. E. Blaker incised. So that's cool. Well, let's let's open it. I wonder what is inside. Now first we can do a quick test. Let's see if the decades work. Well, it seems this is the ground. This one to connect to your first decade, second, third, and fourth decade. Well, this is good. I'm using my Kelvins again. Just connecting this one here. This one here. Yeah, indeed. It is broken. Oh, that is a pity. So, well, if the connection here is loose, then maybe the connection between this one still works. No. What about between these two? Yeah, here we have something. This should be zero ohm. 100. Two, three. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, same as the other, probably needs cleaning. Yeah. Okay, that seems to work. Between this one then. So the lower resistance are all broken, zero. Look at this, should be one k. <laughs> it is one guy. Two, look at this. That is very nice. So it's at a point one. A little bit better. But cleaning will make that even better. So that one seems to work. This resistor was okay. This resistor is broken, and this one is broken. Okay, well, let's open up. Okay, here we go. Find the screwdriver with the perfect fit, and open this. It is very nice with the woods, just like the general radio one. I really like that. Let's see what we find inside, because that other one looked beautiful. How the switches were made with four sliding contacts for each resistor. That was really, really nice quality. I wonder what they did here. My expectations are high because of the Nobel Prize and everything. Okay, needs to go out like this. Also completely shielded. We also saw that with the other resistor. Ooh. Let's peek inside. Open the other one. Okay, it seems it slides out. Yes, it's supposed to slide or bend. I try to slide it. I don't want to bend it. But yeah, maybe we need to. Only one side slides? What is that? What is that? Oh, no, it also. Yeah, it needs to slide. Come. Yeah, it slide. Again. Okay. Yeah, here we go. It's clear that some of the resistors are burned, but it doesn't explain how the. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Look at this. This looks a lot like the 501s from uh, General Radio. And also with the sliding contacts, only this one doesn't have four sliding contacts, it had, has five, I think. One, two, three, maybe even six. Let me get a picture of this. Okay, I think I found something. Well, I think I'm pretty sure 
look at this. It is not the switches at all. The switches look look fine, and uh, they all make contact on the ring. So that was my first. But then, if you look at this, the first one here, it's diesel. But I think they wanted to take it out to check if which resistors uh, are broken, because they are on a series. You now you just add one every time. So if one in the row is broken, then the whole range is gone. And so that we can fix, but of course the wires need to be connected. So we need to solder this one back. I can take it out and see first which one is good, which one is not. And here is the same. This one is also disconnected. And this one, so really someone tried to, and here even here they have these nice connectors, and so this wire is maybe replaced, or I, I would have expected here, this same T connection right here. So that got lost, I think. Then we need to solder this very good. But I don't know how they. Also, it is touching here the resistors. And here it is not, and here it is also not. So I think this wire they read it again. And it doesn't look nice at all. It should not be touching here. Okay, well, that is something we need to solve, but now I just wonder if the resistors are all in series. I should be able to measure them uh, one by one, and then they probably are all one ohm here in this one. So if I measure here, yeah, it's one. Exactly. The contacts are dirty. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. So the resistors are good. If I clean it and they make proper contact, so let me move this one also to the end. Here we have a problem, and it's probably the lowest. Yeah, the lowest is broken because the most current goes there. So that's only one. So if I can get it ten ohms. I don't need 10 ohms because I have 10 ohms here. So I can also just short it. But then I can only use it in series. Okay, I will just put a 10. 10. 10. Because that's the that's a nice thing from this decade that it really goes from zero. To 10. So that means you have a double. So if I go here to 10 ohms, then I don't need the 10 ohms here. So I can also short it. And uh, now because it's in series with this one and then it's missing. Okay. So yes, I will find a 10 ohm resistor. And then later I do it with wire. First I try to solve. So the one ohm is actually, it looks a bit burned, but it is still good. So I can just fix that. I will do that. 
Okay, yeah, so one of the 10 ohms is, is completely broken and it's resistor wire. Well, I need to order resistor wire and then I can tune it exactly. But what I'm going to do now, just to continue the cleaning and the testing later, I have a few 3.3 resistors and here too. These ones are a bit, little bit low, but these ones are a little bit high. So now I'm just going to try to select them. This is 3.335. And this one is 3.332, I think. Yeah, 3.32. So, and then I will select the third one. I need to see if I need a little bit higher or a little bit lower. It should be also almost a 3.334, I think. So I'm just going to select till I have exactly 10. Okay, well, this is as close as I get it right now, and it is also the resistors by soldering is a little bit hot, so you will see it will come closer and closer to the 10. I actually think I got pretty close. Cool. Okay. And yeah, I need to find a precision uh, resistor, but for now, this is uh, ooh, going to get very close. <laughs> well, uh, let's put this in. Well, I found another problem. The first resistor is completely gone. It is completely smoke. I have, the, <coughs> have some of the wire still here. As you can see, it's completely burned. So I can try to get resistor wires, wire for that, or I just keep a tested resistor. But the second, one wire is loose and it is now uh, 20 ohms. So that means there are two wires in parallel that, that make them 10 ohms. And that makes it also easier to adjust now to have two wires parallel and then it kind of evens out. And, uh, but I think if I can solder this one, I, I can show you Wait, what I mean. If I have here, it is fragile, I need to be careful. But if I get one resistor here, you can see it's exactly 10. But if I get in here, it is 20. And the other one is just open. But this 20, I think, is the loose wire that makes it in parallel. So I try to solder that one. But the wires are very, very thin. So I hope I can put some. Yeah, that was indeed the issue. I managed to uh, solder that wire. It was pretty burnt, but I think I got a good uh, stick. It does stick well. So here we have 10. And now uh, here we have 10. So now we need to have 10 on the first, but that is completely burned. So I'll put that a resistor. And um, yeah, I just try to get it.
So that does look a lot better. It is super, super clean, of course. <laughs> look, the casing is back to its, yeah, green, blue. Look at this shining. But let's see the repair we did. Is it any good? So, watch the meter. It's in auto mode, so it will just adjust. Close to zero. Put the clip here. Let's see, they are all to zero. So let's see what the total resistance is. When everything is in series, look at that. Huh? That is super low. And it goes through four switches. Let's see if I can somehow. Maybe we can get it even lower. Well, that is good, 0 0.16. Okay, now let's go to our first decade resistance. One ohm, two, three, four, five, Okay, I'm using now the bananas. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And go to zero. Then we can take here the ten. This is our ten ohm. Look at that. Perfect. Twenty, thirty. And they all have this last two. How is this 11? That's funny. 8? 9? Okay, here is missing a wire. Okay. So we need to also look at the 9. Okay. Next one. Amazing. Look, two, zero, zero, zero. These are precise. Need to look at this nine. Here is the same as the 20. I think that one wire is uh, loose. Yes, indeed, that uh, wire came loose. I will make a picture of that. I will solder that. And then the nine is also, because they put two wires in parallel and then you get the 20, 20, and then you get 10. And when one of those is loose, of course, you just have the 20 left. So I will need to connect that one. And I come back. Okay, that was an easy fix. It was indeed a little wire. And uh, now we have 10, 20. And we go to the 90. Yes. And the 100. Yes. So that's it. It's again very, very nice. I'm happy with the result. And it was amazing uh, how close we could get for this uh, 10 ohm uh, resistor by putting uh, 3, 3.3, 3. and I was just selecting them until the point I had exactly 10. And uh, yeah, it's great. It works again. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time.